Hi there, I welcome you to Expo Hub channel. Today we are into a very very important exercise related to data table. Okay, so let's get started and have a look. Before that, this is I have shown you in the previous couple of videos in case you are new. These are the benefits what people are getting and these are a couple of comments and messages that I have received. So this is how our channel is helping people. To take maximum benefit of our channel, please subscribe to our channel, please notify yourself and then also visit the videos and playlist section where we have 200 and plus videos as of now. Okay, and later it is keep on every day we are putting as many as videos possible. So continue to visit these two places of our channel which are very important. Okay, with that let's understand this exercise as i said this is very very important exercise for data table and this is going to literally challenge your brain okay if you can think through if you can make it okay so let's understand this question so it's saying there is a uh, there is a workflow that you will be creating let me explain it is going to ask you three different inputs okay so in the input dialog box it is going to ask you enter the name enter the salary entry enter your salary in k okay and then it will ask you enter the city name so this is quite simple okay it can ask three different input dialog box and it is asking three different data but and you'll, you will you will be asking that for five times in this exercise but here is the challenge the challenge is design a dynamic workflow using which the city name columns are created dynamically that means you will not you can you cannot have all these columns san jose chicago so let's say customer is entering bangalore or let's say he's entering new york whatever the data is entering initially your data field is entirely blank there is no data is there as and when the data is entered by the user let's say he is entering a city called san jose the moment he enters dynamically it will create a city column okay and under his name it will mark yes next entry let's say david is entering his data david 10 then he said my city name is chicago then your workflow should check if the chicago city is already there as a column if the chicago column is not there then create a new column chicago and under that you mark yes you understood so that is how it is being done for example for david he is from new york so initially it was not there so new york column got added then james 20 then he also said i am from new york so what happened in the new york it has not created one more column called new york because new york is already there it has entered below it yes you getting it so this is what you have to do it dynamically okay so many of you will not answer many of you may not have this answer because this requires a bit of uh, research okay so i want you to research i don't want you to literally see what i have done but i want you to research try a bit after some time you feel you need really help from this video continue to watch okay so after completing as i always say after completing mark yes if you see the solution or you do not see the solution doesn't matter just mark yes so that i know that you have completed this exercise okay so and also click on subscribe for more such contents anyone who is new to our channel so with that let's get started and understand okay this is very very important so to save time i do not want to design everything from the beginning first of all i am using a flow chart let me tell you okay so using a flow chart because i have to ask uh, five times so i thought this uh, easy way okay so what i am doing it here very simple first thing i am building a data table okay so i've given a flowchart i have used you also try the way i'm designing you also design it my way first so that you learn then you can think of designing in a different way because many ways are possible this is not the only way right okay so first of all whoever is learning try to do it the way i am doing so uh, take a flowchart drag and drop the build data table activity okay so once you have the build data table activity drag and drop all you do is create a data table name dt1 done so once you have created this is double click on it and click on data table so anyone who is aware how to build so initially you will have something okay this is close everything 
and uh, you will have you will have text and some couple of other data is there so remove everything simply click on edit and first give a the first field is name right as per our data the first field is name isn't it so name and salary i am creating these two fields because these two fields remains constant the city field is dynamic getting it because the city field is dynamic what i want to do is i want to ensure that name and uh, let me go back to your studio okay so what i am doing here i am creating the name field and salary field as a constant so a salary is integer name a string okay simply edit and give a name edit you will have column remove that type name keep it as it is string here also remove that column name and say salary and change it to in 32 don't change anything else click on okay okay so that way what i have done i have created two constant columns which is name and salary which is going to remain constant only as per the city name the new columns will get created correct so i have created it so this is understood simple after that it has to ask data okay so this is a small sequence i have taken okay you go to activities and type sequence and drag and drop and after that you can give a name ask data so here i am asking three different data input dialog box input dialog box input dialog box first one asking enter your name storing it in the variable name asking salary storing in the variable salary asking city storing in the variable city so only thing that you have to recall here whatever the new variables you have created name salary and city all of them should be applicable to your main workflow your main flow chart so whatever name you have given accordingly you have select flow chart for me the main one is flow chart i have did, i did not change the name so i am ensuring all my variables are can be accessed in the flow chart okay that one thing you do so here I am asking all the data that's all and here I am entering a counter counter is equal to counter plus one that means I have to ask five times so here I have initial value I have given zero so the for, for the very first time when it comes the counter value will become one okay so why I am uh, doing this because I have to do it five times okay so here below this ask data for example for the first time the user has entered this data David salary and he has entered his name of the city as new york these are the three things he has entered imagine he is entering in the input dialog box three different data so below this ask data i am using a if activity so this is very very important make a note of it so i am using a if activity and in the if activity i am writing dt1 your data table okay which is right now has two different columns name and salary okay so i'm saying dt1 dot columns dot contains city so city is the variable for example he's entering new york so it is saying in dt1 data table do you have a column which is new york so this is the syntax for it so for the very first time your answer is no because there is no such city called new york so what it will do if it is not true it will come to the else section the city is not there right if city is there then it should come here if city is not there it should come here so initially the city will not be there so it will come to the l section for sure so once it comes to the l section i am using an activity called add data column go very very slow i am i am teaching in a very slow manner so i am using a add data column so i have to add a column as per the city name entered by the user so before that it is checking whether that city column is available or not only when that city column is not there then you add a column if city column is already there you don't have to add a new column right so i'm using a add data column when the city name is not there so for the very first time it is not there so i'm using a add data column activity so you also drag and drop so here how to use this activity here i'm using the data table name dt1 and column name is city let's say he's entering new york so it has to add a column new column called new york okay it has to add a new column called new york so it has added the new column new york so once it has added what i want i am specifying the position of that column so let's say you are entering the next data and somebody has entered san jose you entered the second data you given the name salary and the city name you have given san jose so it will check if san jose is there in the data table say no it's not there so the moment it is not there again it is going to create a data column and add the san jose column new column getting created so once it got created new column 
so what happens when you are adding data row in data row so what is happening first column you have created new york then the second column called san jose like that you will be keep on creating so how you will add the data so what i want whatever the column is getting added the position of that column i am fixing it over here okay so i am saying using this invoke method i am use some i am using a method called set ordinal i am using a method called set ordinal that means wherever the column getting created so add data column means what it will create at the end let's say you have already added new york now you are adding san jose it will create it in the next place then you are adding another city let's say dallas so it will after san jose then dallas column will get created right so it is getting created after that so what i want whatever the new column got created now it should move to the third position so that means wherever it is getting created let's say one more column will create it should move automatically to the third position okay sorry third position is this okay this is where it should move automatically so to move it to this position i have told you the index number 0 1 2 why i am moving you will get the answer so 0 1 2 so what i am doing here method name i am setting as set ordinal the target object what i am doing i am simply saying dt1 dot columns where it should which one it should move which column it should move i have to tell him right so in data table columns whose name is whatever just now you have added city in the city whatever name that column you move it to there is a parameter if you look uh, there is something called parameters here okay so here what i have done simply click on create argument then make it to integer 32 and giving a position 2 why i am giving position number 2 because first position is 0 1 2 so i am saying whatever new column is getting created you move it to position number 2 interesting okay so why i am moving you have that question why am i moving why it is needed because if you see this r data row r data row means whatever rows are there you should add some data into it so here you cannot because every time the column is set in fourth fifth ninth tenth position you cannot add data row you cannot specify so what i am doing i am moving it to the third place so that first place to enter the name second place it is going to enter the salary the third place under that is going to say yes now you are entering another city then that city also will come to the third position and there it is going to enter the name salary and below that it is going to enter yes getting it so that's why i am using this add data row activity and i am before that i am moving that column from last position to the third position okay if index wise if i say 0 1 2 second position okay so i am moving so that place it is going to add let's say the column is already there let's say new york new york is already there so what happens if the city name is already there then you don't have to do anything the city name is already there so if the city name is already there right then it has to add name salary yes but here the problem is here the problem is even to add this i have to move it to to the third position right i have to move move that column wherever it is to third position so ensure we are using the invoke method okay so first i am moving that particular column wherever it is there in the data table to third position and after moving it to third position now i am entering the data into it getting it why i am moving it to third position using this invoke method if this much is clear then if i go back to the main workflow here i am using a floor decision and here i am saying count is equal to 5 that means if you have asked five times so and first data entered then it will go and now it is not equals to 5 so the counter is not equals to 5 equals to 5 then it will become true true means it will write if it is false then it will continue to ask the data enter the data then it will check so it will ask five times this is simple logic so again it will go it will ask the second data you are entering the second data and it will create a let's say you are entered a new city name it is going to create a new city name enter yes below it like that it will do it five times and once it is done i am using a right range activity and here in the right range i am telling which file it should go and write and i am writing into it the entire data table okay so let's execute once only when i execute all this explanation i have given it will be more easy so what i am doing let me run it this is slightly i mean 
slightly advanced um, if you know how it works then i think it is okay so here it has built the data table it is asking the data one by one okay so let me enter one the data one by one so data i am entering let's say first data i am entering david okay let's say his uh, salaries i'm just saying 10 so it is in k okay 10k 20k like that so i'm saying 10 so enter your city okay before that let me delete all this data and save it and close this okay i've closed that file uh, city let's say he is from dallas okay so dallas is not there so first column will get created dallas name city and dallas okay done now again it is going to ask data let's say i am going to say james and enter your salary let's say 20k and here enter your city is let's say new york done so now new york is also not there it will create another column new york move that to third place enter the data into it okay and done okay so data table is, is your temporary container which is having the data now let me enter uh, let's say mary okay now enter your salary in let's say 30 and and his city let's say dallas so i have entered one data dallas very first one right so this so in this position it will find the city name is already there as a column dallas is already there let's say so it is come to here it will move that dallas position to this one and enter the data so that it has done now let's say the fourth name is let's say john and he is from let's say so his data is 40 40k salary and he is from houston houston okay so houston is not there so it will create a new column are you getting it so this is very very important just try that exercise this exercise is very very important okay so now the last name uh, let's say i'm entering peter and he is from let's say san jose sorry enter your salary right let's say 50 and this guy is from san jose okay so now what it should do it should write at the entire data table so it is adding into the dt1 right after creating the data table completely it is writing finally to the excel file okay okay done so let's open that excel file do you see so dallas there are two entries i have said yes dallas dallas so it has shown david and for mary they are both are from dallas it has entered their salary okay and then peter there are five different names it has entered okay getting it so he's from san jose the last data i have entered as san jose so it has come to the third position automatically okay so this is very very important logic and this is going to help you a lot if you know this all right guys so thank you so much for watching this i hope this video is very very helpful um, please do let me know <laughs> just me i am saying it's helpful but i don't know about you so do let me know um, if it is helping you uh, please do mark yes once you have completed please do subscribe to our channel to get such real helpful contents thank you guys you guys have a wonderful day Bye bye